Now, over the last nine months, Sussex sculptor Louise Giblin has been getting her hands on some of the fittest bodies on the planet. Now, she's been creating five statues of leading Olympic and Paralympic athletes, including Dan Kelly Holmes, sprinter Chris Akabusi, and Kent's Paralympic swimming medalist Darren Leach. And last night, they gathered in London to see their completed body casts for the first time. Our Olympics reporter Chrissy Reedy was there to see their reactions. Five British Olympians up close and personal as their body casts are unveiled for the first time. From Sally Gunnell, Darren Leach, to Dame Kelly Holmes. Every crease, every line, every detail tells a very unique story of sporting achievement. When I spoke to Dame Kelly and I said to her, well, I'm guessing that you want your two golds at Athens. And she said, yes, I do. Um, but it's very important to me that I won my golds at a place that was the birthplace of the Olympics. So could you do ancient Athens on me? Which at the time, I, you know, when, when someone gives me something quite challenging, there's part of me that goes, oh, okay, that's gonna be difficult. Um, but I just love the challenge. The whole process took a gruelling nine months. I leave the gap down the side. Okay. So you can breathe. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> So we start here with the body cast, of course, the plaster. We then move on to the ceramic, where you've got Louise's artwork. Obviously, it's been in the kiln, so it shrinks somewhat. And then finally, the silicone mould, before we eventually move on to the finished sculpture. Paralympic swimmer Darren Leach hopes to use his body cast to inspire the next generation of athletes. And my swimming club I go to, they want, the people there want to see it. So I, once I've done my tours around the country, around my area, and all those sort of things, I don't know, I haven't decided yet. It's a bit big to put on the mantelpiece. <laughs> Someone suggested I put it in the garden. It wouldn't be too bad. I don't think, I think the burdens would struggle to carry it away as well. Some had to sacrifice a little more than others. Louise had to shave all my hair from my chest and my stomach and my back and everything else and then painstakingly plaster me with his firm plaster pants and all the other preparations that she put upon me. So while some endured a brief moment of pain, they know all too well having their sporting triumphs immortalised in this way, their Olympic dreams will endure long after 2012. Chrissy Rudy, BBC South East Today, London. Kabuti's is as energetic as ever, isn't he? Can't keep a good man down. And so is Michael Fish. Here he is. I can't understand why they didn't want my body. <laughs> oh, dear. Perfect specimen. Anyway, it was a perfect